Newton's second law is really defined as the force is proportional to the rate of change of momentum. Now we often use this equation here, f equals ma, and we know that the acceleration is equal to the change in velocity divided by time. So if we put that in over here, we can say that f equals m v minus u over t. Once we multiply through the brackets, we can say that that force is equal to mv minus mu over t, and momentum is equal to the mass times velocity. So this is our final momentum, and that's our initial momentum, and therefore we can write this as our change in momentum over the time it takes for that change in momentum to occur. And that's why we can say that f is equal to delta p over delta t.